Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Setter, and I've been a periodontist for a little over 30 years. And you're about to see some information on an extraction system that can change your practice. For many of us, extractions are scheduled at the end of the day uh, when we're not sure how much time it's going to take to achieve an extraction. The system you're about to see we've been using for a number of years has made extractions a predictable procedure within a very short period of time. Uh, once you get the technique, the extractions happen in a matter of minutes predictably with minimal damage to the bone. So I would invite you to uh, listen closely. The information you're about to see can have a major impact on your practice. The forceps classically were to hold a tooth, the, the two class one levers to hold the tooth and you were forced to take the tooth out with your arm and shoulder and, and physically remove the tooth um, from, its, from its bony socket. Whereas this is using a, a light constant force and waiting for an ele element of creep to have the tooth release from the socket. There isn't any of that jarring and holding somebody down and physically trying to pull it off and, and basically what we were trying to do is taking a bottle cap with with our dental extractors holding the bottle cap and trying to just pull it off and that's why we, we were taking out teeth and yet every layperson would take a bottle opener which is a lever and put it on the bottle and just lift the, the cap off the bottle so we're basically doing the same thing with this device and it makes it easier for the doctor, it makes it more predictable that you're going to be able to place an implant or do a socket graft afterwards. It certainly makes it more comfortable during the process for the patient. First, open the instrument wide. Then, engage the beak deep on the lingual aspect of the root. Next, set the bumper at the mucogingival junction. Note the fixed position of the hand on the instrument. Do not squeeze the handles. Slowly apply pressure, rolling in an arc, towards the buckle to accomplish an occlusal lift. Using wrist movement only, disengaging it from the socket. At the first sign of movement, or what is commonly referred to as the pop, stop, the instrument has performed its intended use. Now you can use an instrument of choice to grasp and remove the tooth from the socket. My name is John Suzuki. I'm professor of periodontology and oral implantology at Temple University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We've started using the physics forceps for extractions, especially atraumatic extractions. In our graduate periodontology clinic, we find them to be invaluable at beginning the atraumatic extraction process. We look forward to working together with the company for other advantages of these particular instruments. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Helena Perez. I'm the chairman of the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery here at Uni University of Detroit Mercy Dental School. Um, the advantage of these instruments is because um, using a biomechanical advantage to take the teeth out rather than just your strength, it doesn't matter how strong you are. If the instrument is used properly, you get leverage and um, difficult extractions can be done uh, very efficiently. You know, it's, it's, I think many times in offices, dentists schedule extractions if they're not comfortable with doing them at the end of the day so they know when uh, if the extraction runs longer that they're not going to have their schedule demolished for the rest of the day. One thing that using these forceps has allowed me to do is to be predictable in how much time it takes to do an extraction. Generally if there's any coronal portion at all, meaning anything above the CEJ, we can get the extraction done in two or three minutes. 
And so, uh, unlike other extraction techniques where you're concerned that you may not get the tooth out in the allocated time, I would suggest to you that the amount of time you'll need is going to be one, less, and two, predictably less than conventional extraction techniques because this will deliver the tooth every time. And most often with no buckle bone damage, particularly if you're mindful of uh, not trying to deliver the tooth completely with this forcep. So, uh, extractions that used to take up to 20 minutes long because you were concerned about really being able to deliver the tooth, uh, now are in terms of a few minutes. And so I would suggest to you, quite frankly, you can't afford not to use these forceps. Hi, my name is Dr. Jennifer Silk and I'm a periodontist practicing in Chicago, Illinois. I've been in private practice for about eight years now and I started using the physics forceps roughly three years ago and I can say that it's honestly cut down on a lot of time that it takes me to take out teeth. In the past, a lot of times I would use a piezoelectric, I would have to section roots, I would take half an hour to get a tooth out. Now, the first time I used the physics forceps, I know that when I used it for a canine, it was out in a matter of minutes and the patient couldn't believe that the tooth was actually out. So I can say that it's definitely been an asset to my practice and has turned out to be something that I use on a daily basis. My name is Dr. Walter Dimmitt. I have been using the Golden Mish forceps for well over two years. I was one of the evaluators of the instrument before it came on the market. Uh, it's, it's a very cost-effective treatment. It used to be more or less a loss leader for us. We used to tell patients that uh, when they ask how long it takes for an extraction, they always say five minutes to an hour and a half because it was just very unpredictable and knowing exactly how much effort and time it's going to take. Now, we schedule no more than 20 minutes for any extraction because it doesn't take much time and so we're not overbooked, we're not running behind, we're always on schedule and we have happier patients. As a matter of fact, we have a lot of dentists now that used to refer to the oral surgeons for extractions who are now referring to us. So we're doing more and more extractions as a result of half your patients going back to their general dentists. Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Hayes. I'm a prosthodontist from Rochester, Indiana. I've been utilizing these forceps and trying them out for about three years. Pretty amazing. Uh, something I'd like to share with you is my daughter's a dentist, graduated about two years ago, and she came through one of the Dr. Mish's programs. We showed her how to utilize these, and she's called me up excited about taking teeth out now. She's uh, looking forward to Monday mornings and extracting teeth, and she's had a lot better results with that. I've also used them in my study club, and most of my referring dentists now, I have them utilizing these, and I've got a lot better ridges whenever the uh, soft tissue heals up. So it's a lot better job in the ridge preservation and maintaining that, that the uh, labial bone. I've been teaching at the University of Detroit Mercy Dental School for over two years now and I introduced the physics force up to the students. I have had a great reaction from the students. The ones uh, who want to try something different besides the conventional forceps have found them very easy to use. Um, they like the fact that they can do the more difficult extractions instead of giving them to the residents since no surgery is involved. So they've been taking them on their mission trips and they've been taking them to uh, the UHC, the hospital clinics where we do so many extractions and they find that they can do them simply and efficiently and uh, they're wanting to use them all the time now. They're their go-to instruments. Extraction forceps haven't changed in 150 years until the Golden Mish forceps and it's based on a better principle and it works. If you haven't um, tried it, you really owe it to yourself to, um, to try it on a, on a few cases. Once you try it, I don't think you'll ever go back to another technique. <laughs>